Mr. Dolan here. How's everybody doing? Good. Um, doing some more molarity calculations. Here's a quick video to help you with some of that. Uh, so we have a question here. A student dissolves 4.25 moles of solute in enough water to make 3.75 capital M. That We call that molar, 3.75 molar solution. Calculate the volume of the solution. So <clears throat> whenever you're doing this stuff, I always be thinking about, okay, what equation are we going to use? Uh, I like to say, okay, think about what is it that you are given, right? What does the question want you to find? And what equation are you going to use to solve it? Right? So you are given 4.25 moles, and you are given 3.75 molarity. And the question says calculate the volume. So the want is a V. Okay, so the equation is simply the molarity equation. So if you didn't know that, you could just look at your equation sheet and say, okay, well, what equation do I have that has all of these three things in it? We know that molarity equals moles over liters. Okay, the volume is your liters. So... How do we do this? We simply plug in our numbers that we have in to the equation. So we know 3.75 molarity equals 4.25 moles. And then the bottom here is our x. It's our liters. I'm going to put that in parentheses just to remind myself. Then we got to do a little bit of algebra there. Multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by 3.75 to get the x by itself. You end up with 4.25 divided by 3.75. And when we finish solving that, we get x equals 1.13, that 3 is repeating. And that then would be liters. I was looking for a volume. And there you go. Let me know if you have any more questions.